How's it going, Blade Series? This is David with Blade Banter. We're working to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. And this is a knife that I'm um, trying to get in a, a little bit more of some of the traditional styles. Uh, this is, of course, the Swiss Army knife. Uh, this one, I believe, is the Spartan. Uh, so uh, this one is uh, one that I got uh, with the bug out. So um, the person I bought it from uh, just included this knife, which is just amazing. But this one um, seems to have been dropped in the sand a little bit, so it's got a lot of grit to it. Uh, so I'm looking at a few different things. I'm going to give it a bath. Uh, so hopefully that uh, kind of fixes some of that, uh, and then I can kind of bring it back to something that's actually really smooth. Uh, so this is going to be one that I just got in uh, just regular dish soap and dish water, hot water, uh, to try and clear out some of this because uh, a lot of this is very uh, gritty. Uh, within the knife, uh, so I'm just trying to uh, get the um, the grits and the pieces out. I'm going to try and clean it out. Uh, so uh, for some of the folks that are probably watching, they're just probably cringing and say, that's not the way you're supposed to care for the knife. Well, let me know, because uh, uh, I don't have a lot of uh, Swiss Army knives. I don't have a lot of uh, traditional knives, so that's what I'm going to try and look at getting into as far as... Um, uh, GEC. Uh, so GEC, I was looking at some of their knives uh, and that seems to be a recommendation for a lot of folks as far as they get into as far as that brand. Uh, so I was looking to do GEC uh, number uh, 15 is what I'm kind of looking at right now as far as which one to pick up. So close some of these blades. Yeah, a lot of those are super stiff. Uh, but a 15 is, is kind of what I'm looking at as far as what to get into uh, for GEC. To so try and see uh, if that's going to be something I'm going to really enjoy and something that I actually want to um, kind of follow with more. But uh, that's also scary because that's just another style of knife uh, that will be added to my, um, uh, I guess now it's kind of an addiction type of thing. But... Now, hopefully you folks are getting some good information uh, from the uh, the channel as well, as well as some of the testing and some of the things that happen uh, within uh, the community. Uh, so it seems like that's working out pretty well. So we have steel testing out there um, for the community. And you can even you can probably even hear that it's all sand in there. Uh, but you can probably get into the community as far as the steel testing, uh, we have uh, the regular knife test. As far as sharpness, uh, the hand sizing chart uh, for this channel. Uh, so some of that seems to be pretty uh, pretty good as far as what you guys enjoy and what you guys like to see. Uh, so let me know, I guess, in the comments down below as far as uh, if you think that there's things that are missing uh, that I should be adding to uh, the site or the, the channel. Because uh, I did hear um, as far as some of the traditionals, uh, I don't have a lot of traditionals because uh, I find that there's not really, uh, I, it seems a little bit harder to review in a sense because there's not really a lot that's action. There's walk and talk uh, type of uh, things to talk about, uh, fit and finish. Um, but uh, as far as the, it seems like the other types of actions and more modern knives has more uh, well, how does it open? How does it carry? How was the pocket clip? Uh, what is the steel? How does that steel compare? Uh, so there seems to be a lot more uh, things uh, for that. Uh, so that's where um, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what you guys are wanting to see as well. But check out a lot of the other channels too, because uh, that's what I'm, I'm, we're finding with a lot of the community side as just folks Folks are willing to help each other out. Uh, so yes, it's great to have a large channel. It's great to have a lot of subscribers, which if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, but that's where uh, it helps us to kind of grow and build and then uh, try and figure out uh, what type of things are wanted in the community. And hopefully we provide something because that's still one of the things that kind of sticks with me when I went to Blade Show West is uh, Liang Ma uh, said kind of what makes you different from the others and so that kind of stuck with me and I guess that would be the same for anything that you do in your life 
kind of what makes you different than everybody else in what you're doing, what you're offering, and the way you um, and the way you operate, and the things that you do. Um, so that just seems kind of an interesting uh, take on things and a, really a valid question. So it seems to be clearing out quite a bit already uh, because some of these are still very stiff. Um, I guess probably a lot of these tools also probably don't get used very often, which would indicate by how the action is. But at least getting some of that sand out of there because that was just super gritty when I first got it. Oop, spill a little bit. Oh, and that's just stuck on the other thing. So another thing that's going to be coming in, uh, if you guys uh, haven't seen Pop Up Leather, uh, they're based out of Canada, uh, so they're actually sending in uh, one of the EDC um, armors, which is going to be where I'll probably carry this. And then I'm gonna, it actually has a place for elastic as far as a pen as well. So we'll see how that comes out. Um, I haven't opened the box yet, so I'll do that later. And then that will give some ideas as far as you know, getting into the traditional side, um, how I'm gonna carry those knives too, because um, I don't really like having things just floating in my pocket. And that's something that I see uh, with a lot of the traditionals, it just kind of floats, and I'd rather have something that holds it in place. And, and also, pop up leather, uh, they are a lifetime warranty uh, for their stuff as well. So, if your leather uh, fails through this regular use, of course, not if you cut a hole in it, that's probably not covered, uh, but it's just something that's really. Uh, seems like a quality product, so you know, I'm kind of excited to see that. Uh, so they are sending that along. So this is going to be kind of a long video, but uh, the action is going to be is getting a lot better. I'm going to have to dry it out and then lubricate it. But at least it's getting uh, quite a bit better as far as the action. It's not gritty. That's what I was finding initially. It was just open it up and it just you get the grit of sand within the action and within the scale this just was really kind of painful to listen to but a lot of the the Swiss Army knives it seems to have a lot of tools that you'd probably be able to use in your normal life so it is beneficial the only other one that is kind of a multi-tool I have is from Rake so they had a pretty decent one that was kind of a, a slip joint uh, type of knife but for some reason they put in a liner lock into it so that kind of takes away from a lot of the uh, communities that can't have locking knives and i was hoping that i could disassemble it and take that out of there but a kind of free floating uh, pivot and other parts didn't allow me to do that so that was not ideal so a lot of this is pretty dirty. This is actually an old, old glasses wipe. Hopefully it's not too abrasive for this, but I mean there's like gunk on it from like tape and things. And I do have, I think a 25th anniversary, a little um, Swiss Army knife that I picked up. Let me know also, are there any custom scales for these things? Because I would think that that would be a really an untapped market if there is not custom scales. I wonder if you can get some of these with like micarta scales and like carbon fiber. That would just be awesome. So if that's out there, shoot me a link as far as where that is so I can take a look at it. Because it just seems like such a such a market that could be out there for it. Kind of a lot of these aren't very expensive, uh, but if you could have some scales, then you can move it from one to another, 
And if this one ends up breaking down, and then you can actually go and, well, put on the new one. But I think that would be a way to go. So I'll probably mess with that a little bit more later. But just going off of all the tools. That's a lot better. And you know, some of that soap might be acting as a lubricant now. But that's the bath. Uh, so what I'm going to do, i dry it all off and clean it up. Uh, but for all the folks that are more uh, common or knowledgeable about these type of knives, as well as traditional knives, uh, kind of start that communication in the comments as far as what you would recommend me picking up first. Do you think the GC15 uh, would be a proper way to go as far as uh, that introduction to the GNC GN GEC lineup? And we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, let me know in the comments. That's cleaning up nicely. So I'm gonna let that sit a little bit longer then dry it off. Uh, let me know if that's the way that you would clean a knife. Uh, I think it works out pretty well, and I don't think you're going to have any issues once I dry it off, and I'll throw some oil on it as well. So thanks again for time. Uh, that is the bath of the, uh, the Swiss Army knife, Spartan. Thanks again for your time. Let me know in the comments down below as far as what you think, and thank you very much. So back together, lubed up, used the 85 weight nano oil. Uh, for it, so I went and put it on all the joints. So basically, where it's going to be contacting the spring. So basically, down in these two portions of it, um, and then for the the blades, uh, it's just basically right at the end where it meets the spring. So put it on all those. And uh, right now, after the bath, a true spa treatment. Uh, everything is smooth. I think I got all the sand out. And it's working. So again, let me know what I missed out. Now, uh, are there custom scales, which I would love. And um, let me know what you think as far as how to clean it, if you have a better way to clean it. Um, overall, I think the end result worked out. Uh, so I'm happy with it. And I'll see how this is in carrying uh, this Swiss Army officer's knife. Thanks a lot.